Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do uh, Christmas ornamental baubles and what I've done is I've kind of done a rough drawing of three circles here and uh, the way I got these circles are by using my Starbucks cup and the reason I've kept this cup is to also show you guys that I went to get a coffee the other day and you know how there was this whole controversy about Starbucks not having Christmas trees on their cups I love that underneath my cup the barista drew this I'm thinking it's the barista I don't know who drew it um, but there was this little Christmas tree underneath it and I thought it was like so special and whether and what a rebellious way of kind of bringing the Christmas tree back on the cup I love it so I kind of kept it and I said I must show you guys anyway so I used this cup to draw the circles and I've drawn three circles just kind of here and there um, and now I'm going to draw the tops of it just so I can show you how I do it and basically find the middle and you're just drawing kind of like a rectangle and then you do a frill a second one and then one more to close that up and then a little round circle at the top or like a semicircle and this will hold the ribbon or string this seems to be slightly off but we're gonna continue so same thing here And a circle at the top and if these um, pencil markings are interfering with you you can just always like erase them out and that's not a big deal there we go there's another one and then finally to do the third my rectangle and then the little frills or scallops and then the semicircle on top and so now for the extensions if you want it to be super straight um, I would recommend using a ruler or if you're fine with kind of just freehanding it then just do what I'm doing And clearly mine are not straight, so let's just see how this pans out. I find this is a little bit too boxy, so I'm just going to bring this height down a bit. Put my semicircle there, and then redraw that line, and we're good. So now on to colors. But before colors, let me tell you the brushes I'm using. I am using a number eight and I'm using a number four. I'm gonna keep this very simple. And for my colors, I'm going to have a yellow, a yellowy color for the um, ornamental area where it's going to be hung. Uh, and for the actual baubles themselves, I'm going to be using uh, a mixture of red, blue, purple, and I think this is like another blue that I have going on. So uh, a combination of these colors. You can, of course, feel free to use any colors you feel fit for this project. And uh, so we're going to begin. So to start off, I am going to start mixing some colors in my palette. And I have my palette beside me over here. And so I think what I will do is I'm going to take some the water right there. I'm going to take some red first because I feel like this is imperative and I'm just going to mix it around here and then dip my brush in the water again and get some of the blue 
and mix that up and I'm getting like this nice deep purple which is now like a dark blue because I put in more blue and I'm going to take some more of the red add it in there get another purple um, on the, to the side I'm just going to add more red and get another variation of that purple as you can see um, and then I will go into my purple with the red still on the brush and kind of get this color right here which is another purpley color all right so I'm good with these colors I'm happy with them and what I will do is you know I lied I am going to add another brush which is the other eight and the purpose for this brush is so I can wet the areas before placing my color on there so here's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to lightly go in and dampen the area the area where I am going to be painting and I want the light to be coming from here so I'm going to leave some bits of white Once I feel like the area is damp enough, then I am going to go in with this brush that I have ready and I'm going to add my color. So I'm just dropping in my color, adding more water to my brush and just spreading the color around. And because this is again like a loose watercolor, we're trying to not fill all areas, as I mentioned. And so variations of purple are nice to have. Sorry, I'm silent because I want to make sure I get this right. Again, the edges don't have to be super perfect because it's a loose watercolor. And so now what I will do is I will go into my purple. I, you know what? I should have used... Yeah, no, this is the right brush. And I'm going to add more purple to the side and just to the tips where we're going to have our golden ornament kind of thing going on and just to the edges I'm going to dip in more of that purple just swish the color around the best I can and I like that so I'm kind of going to leave that as is I'm just going to make sure that this area is slightly damp with enough purple in it and you'll see why soon enough next I'm going to do this one up here so I'm dampening this whole area Oops, I went a little bit out of the line, but that's okay, as discussed. And I'm going to touch this purple here a little bit. So using this, I'm going to take off some of the color and go in for my red, the red purple that I have going on, and this is what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to swish it all around. Add it to the edges. Bring it down. using water on my brush without adding more color. I'm going to go ahead and add it to all areas of the bauble, leaving bits of white. And I'm just going to add make more of that purple red and then just kind of have it seep through here and darken the edges And I'm going to like do these lines so it almost looks like this bauble has these arcs rather. So it almost looks like the bauble has um, a pattern on it. Do you see that? And I'm just going to do it on this side as well. And I'm good with that. Now for the last color, which is going to be the bluish, I am going to wet the area again. Actually, before doing that, I just want to make sure this kind of seeps in nicely. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to it. And then I'm going to cheat and add some of the purple in here so it looks like it's seeping into the red one while it's still damp. And then I'm washing this off because I want to paint, um, dampen this bauble right here. And then again I'm leaving some white space onto this side. If you're sitting near a good light source, then you can kind of see the areas that have water and the areas that don't. Feel free to touch this bubble right there that's already with paint. See how that's kind of going in. That's a nice effect. So I'm washing off the red purple and I'm going to get my nice blue, bluey purple that I had going on. And I am going to go ahead and put it in. Now because I went in for more blue, it's looking a lot bluer, so I'm just adding some red onto the blue. And now it has hints of blue and purple in there. I'm going to spread it around so it looks more blue than purple and I'm just getting that by adding some red to my already blue here and then going in the areas where I need it to be dark and just spreading the water and I don't know about you guys but I love seeing this extension of color like, love it. And by extension, I mean the colors seeping into one another and just kind of spider webs on the paper. I love it. So 
So there we go, we have a bluey sort of purple bobble that's also seeping into that one right there. And so now I am going to put the two big brushes aside and I'm going to take my number four. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Got it. And I am going to get my yellow, dampen my brush, get some of my yellow, and you can use like a yellow orange or anything that represents like gold or heck, it could be silver if you want, in which case I would go for like a gray color. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of this to my yellow just so it doesn't look too bright and this is more of a mustard so mixing my color right there and I'm just going to start off with this one because it's fairly dry you're essentially just painting it in <clears throat> And just be careful because if it is still damp, you'll have some colors running in, which isn't necessarily a bad thing if it's if it looks attractive. But if it doesn't, then that might be a bit of a problem. So I like that. I'm leaving a little bit of white here and there. I'm just going to move that so I can weave my arm around. And then paint this guy. I'm doing the yellow. And then finally this guy. See, see, um, I touched the blue and so the blue kind of got into the yellow. So this is still quite damp. There we go. That's okay. I'm good with that. I'm just going to wash off my brush. Oops, actually, before I wash off my brush, I'm going to go take some of the darker um, mustard and just create the, the ring at the top. Okay, and so that's good. And now what I will do is, using this number four, I've washed off the color and it's just water on it. I'm just going to add a pattern onto this blue one right here. And it's going to go like this. And so it's going to look like, once it's completely dried, it's going to look like it's a faint variation of stripes. So I think you can see that. There we go. Um, it would have been nice to do something onto the pink one, but I feel like maybe it's um, dried, but let's try it. And for this, I will do the vertical. Lines. really have to catch it when it's slightly damp. Not sure if it's caught it or not, we'll see. And then finally for this one right here, because it's already dried up, um, I think it would be nice to kind of just go in with the purple and just do some patterns like, let's do something like this.
Now these are just ideas I'm coming up on the spot with. So feel free to enhance them if you have a better idea of how you would like this to show. Like maybe you want to do polka dots all over or ooh, you could even letter it like the lettering baubles that I've been posting lately. <clears throat> So, yeah, you could do quite a bit. Just because I said lettering, I'm just going to do a little bit of lettering here. So, let's do joy. Let me know what you guys think of my lettering skills. Ta-da! There's my joy. Um, yeah, so I'm good with that. I'm going to leave it. And now for the extensions. Um, for the extensions, we could leave it to a simple black, perhaps. Or you could even go for a ribbon, if you wish. Um, I feel like we have quite a few colors going on here. Ha, huh, so I'm contemplating. Yeah, I think we'll just settle for a black. I just want to make sure that this is... Nope, it's a blue. So I'm going to add one more color, which is going to be a black. or a black gray, whatever you can find. <clears throat> These little cubes are so dark that I can't really tell until I wet them, so. That's fairly black to me, right? Oops, there we go. Good enough, okay. So I am going to draw these using this black that I have and if I'm inspired and if it's going well I might even do a little bow or one there you go simple enough this is still damp so I'm going to snake around like this and try and not mess things up. Just taking a little bit of water on my brush tip and now these are damp so I'm gonna really try and snake my arm around and do this. I'm actually holding my breath. There we go. Okay. So I like this. And just to sort of add something interesting, I think I will venture for that little bow. And let's do it on this one. Because this is the only one that actually seems like there's enough space to do it but it's also damp. So again, I will be holding my breath as I do this. And all I'm doing is I'm extending and making this little semicircle or elongated semicircle, a slight circle in the middle with a white center and then another semicircle elongated again and now I so the yellow is still damp 
And I don't know if I want a chance doing... Yeah, let's do it. There we go. Even though gravity doesn't quite make it go up that way. We're gonna... Oops. We're gonna give it some flair. And poise. There we go. So there's my little version of a bow with a shaky hand. Then again, it's supposed to go with the whole look and feel of how this um, these baubles look. And uh, you know what? I'm not fully liking how this one turned out. Uh, I feel like it's missing something, so I'm going to add black dots on the center just to kind of enhance the design a little. Let me know what you guys think. So, yeah, so this is my version of Christmas baubles in loose watercolor. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to comment below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. And I'm always happy to engage. You can all also catch me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Thanks so much guys for watching and I hope everyone's having a very good Christmas and holidays with friends and family and loved ones. Uh, before I go, I do want to briefly show you guys something that I have worked for this Christmas season and it is a 2020 calendar and it's a desktop calendar. It comes with an easel and um, I designed it with... 12 different versions, not versions, 12 different watercolors of mine and I've put it together. All sales of this calendar go towards a not-for-profit organization that helps street kids get an education in Kolkata, India. So if you're interested in giving back this season and you get something pretty as well, it makes a great gift, feel free to check out my website and it is available online. Uh, if you're wondering about shipping, please send me a message and I can definitely work something for you. Thanks guys so much for watching and we'll chat soon. Bye!